Today on America's Biggest Bargain Sale, we're offering a Mercedes-Benz valued at $41,466 for $390. A 25-foot sailboat valued at $21,686 for $326. Two of the incredible bargains on Sale of the Century. And now, here's the star of the show, Jim Perry. Oh, thank you very much, Jim Stewart. Thank you. Hello there. Welcome to Sale of the Century. I'm delighted to be back with you on NBC and thrilled to be here with a show that I know you're going to enjoy. I'm going to enjoy every day introducing our lovely hostess, Sally Julian. Hello, pretty Sally. This is your first series. My first series. What are you enjoying the most about doing a series? Oh, well, I think I enjoy... Uh, the fact that they gave me a parking space with my own name on Oh, that's good. That's something to look forward to. Right? Yes. I look forward every day to you introducing our players. Who oh, are our first three players? Thank you. Our first contestant has a variety of jobs. One is balloon delivering from Hemet, California. Here is Lynn Hoyt. Hello, Lynn. Our second contestant is a consultant who hopes to retire wealthy. Born in Canada, now from Studio City, California. Say hello to Joel Mason. Hi, Joel. Is a mother of six who would like to run a country inn from Reseda, California. Let's welcome Janice Bargo. Hi there, Janice. Sally, I know you've got some great bargains for us, so we'll oh, see you a little bit later. Okay. Okay. Lynn, nice to have you here with us. Uh, you deliver balloons. Do you blow them up or? No, I don't blow them up. I deliver them in a variety of costumes. Oh, it sounds like an interesting job. Good to have you here with us. And Joel, uh, you want to retire wealthy? I think most of us do. Are you working on it? Well, this is my start right here. <laughs> All right, maybe it will be, Joel. Nice I to have you so. here as well. Thank and Janice, you'd like to run a country inn. Unusual occupation to be shooting for. I like living in the country, and with four of my children gone, I need to have a full house. Oh, that, that'll fill it up again. Nice to have you here with us as well. Good luck to all three of you. You know how we do it. I'll ask a question. If you answer correctly, we add $5 to your total. Answer incorrectly, we subtract $5. The player at the end of the program with the most money is our winner and gets a chance at some fabulous sale merchandise. Let's check out the buzzers. Lynn, if you will. And Joel. And finally, Janice. Everything is in working order. We'll start all three of you off with $20. And while that's going in, I will introduce the gentleman who is the final arbiter on all of the questions. He is our judge, a professor of the University of California, Los Angeles. This is Dr. Alan Parducci. Alan, good to have you with us. Thanks, Jim. Nice to be here. I'm going to look forward to it. Often wondered what Santa Claus did in the off-season. Alan, nice to have you here. <laughs> good luck, players. And here we go with the first question. She is now known as Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, but what is her maiden name? Janice first to the buzzer. Jacqueline Bovier. Bovier is right. You've got the first five dollars up to twenty-five. Name the author of the smash bestseller Hotel New Hampshire. Lynn. John Irving. New Hampshire. You're right. It is indeed John Irving. Traditionally, of what medal should an anniversary gift be made if a couple is celebrating their fiftieth anniversary? Janice. Gold. Gold. It's the golden anniversary. How many buns are there in a baker's dozen? Lynn. Thirteen. Thirteen is correct. Who is billed as the divine Miss M? Janice. Bette Midler. Going back and forth with the two ladies there, Janice, up to 35. Time now for an instant bargain. The player in the lead always has an opportunity at some fabulous sale merchandise. Janice, you have a $5 lead over Lynn, a $15 lead over Joel, and this could be yours. Sally? And this is terrific for it. It's the Mitsubishi X7 Interplay Stereo System featuring vertical turntable, AM FM stereo receiver, cassette deck with noise reduction, plus two-way stereo speaker. It fits on a shelf because it's only eight inches deep. It's furnished by Mitsubishi, normally priced at $550. It can be yours, Janet, for only $8 on sale this century. $8, Janet. Now, you want to have the country in, so you could put that into the inn. It would be a great spot. What do you think? $8, Janice, and it's yours. Just hit that buzzer and uh, you've got it. Well, I don't have much of a lead. Well, you've got about a, oh, you got a $5 lead over Lynn. And, Janice, I'll, I'll let you have that for $7. Mm, my 18-year-old would like that, but I don't... I would your 18-year-old like... $100 in cash, if I throw it in. Oh, that made the difference, huh? All right, you've got it for $7, and $100 in cash is yours as well. We, of course, take that off your score, and that gets you down to $28, and Lynn is now in the lead by $2. Let us get back to business with all three players. In Mark Twain's story, who was Becky Thatcher's famous boyfriend? 
Joe. Uh, Tom Sawyer. Tom Sawyer. All right, Joe, you're off the schneid there with your first five dollars. What do you call the standard of measurement that is just about 39 and a half inches long? Lynn. Yard. Oh, that is incorrect. It is a meter. You lose five dollars, Lynn, down to 25, and that puts Janice in the lead by three dollars. We've all heard of William F. Cody, but usually under another name. Lynn. Buffalo Bill. Got that five dollars back. It is indeed Buffalo Bill. Yeah. Time now for the fame game, players. The fame game, we have nine famous faces. Sally, who do we have up there? Tim, we have Jane Pauley. From the Today Show. Denver Pyle. Dukes of Hazard. Mary Lou Henner. Paxi. Bob Hope. Uh, NBC comedy specials. Meredith Baxter Burney. Family Times. Gary Coleman. Different Strokes. Charlotte Ray. Facts of Life. Thorough Book. Dukes of Hazard. And Mel Carter. Give me a break. All right, players, behind eight of those famous faces, lovely prizes behind one of them, $25 in cash, which will be added to your score, and I don't have to tell you, that can make a very big difference. Now, players, there's no dollar value with this question. You're going for a pick of that board. You're not looking for one of those nine, I assure you. They are not the answer you're looking for. A lot of information, though. Buzz in when you have an idea. Who am I? I was born in 1936 in New York. My famous father was named Alfonso Giuseppe Roberto De Broso. He changed his name for showbiz reasons. I appeared in several off-Broadway productions before I made it to Broadway in Pearly Victorious. In Hollywood, I won a starring role in a TV series set in Korea. My co-workers have included Trapper, Hot Lips, Janice... Uh, Alan Alda. Uh, better known as MASH, I play Hawkeye Pierce. You're right, it is Alan Alda. All right, Janice. That gives you the first crack of the fame game. Who do you want? Uh, Meredith Baxter Burney. Congratulations, Janice. You've won Hamilton's for an eight-day wall clock reminiscent of the 18th century. Westminster Chimes, Brass Rage, Solid Oak Cabin, and furnished by Hamilton. And like all the prizes along the way, they are yours to keep no matter how you finish in the game. The 25 bucks is still up there. We'll have another crack of the fame game coming up a little later. Right now, let's take time out for this commercial message.